Listen to this InspiredInsider.com interview with co-founder Leo Widrich of Buffer App. Why did the contest they ran fail? Listen when he talks about it. Also, what did Leo say to start doing right now for your business? It's really powerful. Leo also at the end tells one of his favorite stories when he thought he may have to go back to Europe. It wasn't great at the time, but it's great now. Listen up right now. Jeremy Weiss here. We're here with Leo Widrich, co-founder of Buffer. He's helped the company reach over 100,000 users. They've hit $1 million in revenue. He's an expert in content marketing. A fun fact about Leo is writing was his worst subject in school, and he actually got a lot of Fs. That's true, Leo? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, and Leo's going to talk to us about um, going from that idea to making our first sale uh, online. Okay, and we get a lot of comments from people with tons of ideas. They don't know where to start. They're trying to start a side business, possibly with full-time job, family debt, all that. We've all been there, and or they have a fear of their family and friends seeing the business fail. So, Leo, thanks for coming on. Yeah, thanks so much for having me, Jeremy. So, just start. Tell us um, before we get into because I know you've had a lot of success with Buffer. Um, tell us a time when your efforts failed to get you exposure in sales. Definitely, that's a, that's a that's a good one. So I remember distinctly there was one time. Um, so we did a, a contest. We worked with the Next Web, you know, big big kind of media blog, and we're like, oh, this is gonna work out really well for us. And they said like, hey guys, what if you give us um, your paid accounts? So Buffer is basically free, but we have paid accounts. What if you give us your your paid accounts for free for three months? To, that we can give away to 10 winners of the contest, right? So tell us about Buffer first, so the people yeah. who don't know what it is. Yeah, so, so Buffer helps you post and it's smarter to Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and, and other social networks. So you can just fill up a queue with lots of great links and articles you find across the web. We really like integrate with a browser, with like news reading apps and so forth. And then Buffer schedules the updates automatically for you and posts them for you um, well spaced out over the day. And, and tells you also how many clicks and retweets and reach you've gotten. So basically, it helps you post to your social networks in a consistent way. So it helps you post consistently, and it keeps different metrics so you can kind of see them. Exactly. Perfect. That's okay. Exactly how it works. All right. Uh, so you were saying about the contest. Go on. Yeah. So so we so we had this contest. And it's like, hey, you know, you guys, you're a sharing tool. You make sharing smarter. How about we have a contest where people need to share the article? And maybe even use Buffer to do that, and like, and then and, and then you, you know we give away to ten winners the, the paid account, um, and um, to the, the paid account for three months. And after three months, you know, the, the most likely mo lots of them will upgrade, will keep paying you, uh, start paying you. Um, and out of these ten people, not a single person um, started started paying afterwards. And and the, the problem was that. The, the content was so praised just to win something that people didn't care what, right? They just wanted to win the thing, right? And like, like they had no, you know, they weren't interested in using it. They had no use case for it either. So they just like we got board which were completely not the kind of people that you know were a good audience to use buffer. So that was a, a great lesson where our we put like a lot of effort into it and everything failed basically. Yes, and thanks for sharing that. What's a, what about that time when your efforts produced your first sale, or the first sale of the company, and then the first sale that you were involved with? Definitely. So, so I remember the first sale um, was a super exciting moment. So I wasn't yet on board with Buffer, but it was Joel, my co-founder, who you know this, this, you know told me the story many many times, and it was that with Joel had the idea and. And said, okay, I'm gonna try and validate the product. In seven weeks, he built the prototype. So very, 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 you know, minimal, like barely functioning. And he pushed the site live, and he didn't expect anything to happen. He said, like, oh, I'll have to improve a lot. 
and after three days, the first person already started paying for the app. Wow. And he made five dollars, uh, and he said he jumped about the room, and it was the first time he made money online, and uh, it, it was, you know, the, the most amazing moment for him to just like build something, validate it, and then also have people actually follow through and pay. So I remember this is definitely a story I, I, I like to like, uh, remind myself many, many times as well. And so um, what about with you? Yeah, so with me, uh, when I got on board, and then we, we just started with the content marketing, producing lots of interesting articles people find interesting. We were at the very beginning, so we started to do something that I can definitely recommend to people, is started to comment on lots of blog posts that were relevant to our customers. Just like, you know, engaging these bloggers and like, you know, you know building these relationships, right? And then I remember one blog post, he was talking about, you know, I think five best tips to write a blog post. And I said, like, oh, thanks, I'm just starting to blog, and you, it's helping me so much. And um, I think at the end I had one line saying, I've just added this to my buffer to be shared later on. And uh, someone commented, to reply to my comment, said, like, uh, oh, I never heard of buffer. I just checked it out, and I just started paying for it. And, uh, and I went to do a dashboard, and I saw someone just started paying. It's like, I was like, wow, this is so powerful to just genuinely and openly like go out there and like engage with people so I was that was one of the most exciting moments for me that's a great feeling too so going from that first customer first sale tell us about your one of the most pivotal moments um, one of the best moments for us was when one of our investors I remember he sent us an email and said like Guys, I know this might sound small to you, but I think for me this is a measure of how far you've come. Um, I've just seen my Facebook feed, one of my old school friends um, who is totally non techy who's doing like something totally not related to the internet, has shared something using Buffer. And he said, guys, this is, you have made it, right? You're very widespread, a lot of people know you, and they've even mainstream crowds start using you, it's, it's super exciting. And we were like, wow, we're like, we get, you know, we get some big people sign up, so like, you know, so like, you know, some big, so yeah, like Wikipedia or Instagram using Buffer. But that was much more exciting because like it really was on the other scale of like, you know, just every, like Joe down the road started using you and like finds what you do useful and that's super, super powerful. So yeah. that, that was an exciting moment. Yeah, going mainstream, that is exciting. Um, so what's one thing the audience should do right now to get to that first sale? To go from that, you know, starting out, getting that, jumping around the room, that $5 sale, to even going to the mainstream. What's the first thing they should start off doing? Um, yeah, so the first thing that I would, you know, really recommend people is to to validate. To validate your assumption that someone will buy this product or thing you have in mind. And the best way I found to do that is, um, and, and, and Joel did exactly the strategy for Buffer at the very beginning, is he put up a landing page where you could sign up for Buffer and then you would choose from the pricing plans, like get the free option or the paid option. And the crazy thing is the product did not exist, right? So there was nothing behind that was just literally a page with a couple of pricing options to choose from, right? So anyone can do that, right? There's absolutely no skill required to put something like that up there and then try to circulate it a bit on Twitter and Facebook. And and he did that and tracked it, obviously, right? And he had, I think he told me, like, between 20 to 30 people click on that pay button, right? Wow. I mean, we don't know whether they would actually, you know, then put the card details in and so forth, but that was great validation for him, like, okay, I'm going to now go ahead and build this, and I'll be super excited because... I have the validation right now that people have clicked on that button, they were they had the attention, intention to buy something from me, and uh, now I'm going to build it. And I think if you can do something similar, and, and it takes very little effort, you can put something there in an hour and put it out there just to, you know, put your idea on, on, on the web, just as a landing page that's not functional, has no functional product. Um, I think that's a super powerful technique to, to see whether you would get that first sale. Yeah, that is powerful. Just to validate it, and he could spend his time on the things that people want. Exactly. Yeah. That's what it all comes down to, yeah. So tell us, Leo, what are some of the tools or software you recommend that you use for your business? Um, so the one tool that's helping us 
uh, a huge amount. It's, it's called Help Scout. Obviously, uh, Buffer, right? Buffer goes without saying that you use Buffer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, buffer like, we use Buffer a lot, you know, obviously ourselves to just share great articles we read and like engage people with their, whose articles we want to share and, you know, mention them. And uh, I think ho hopefully it helps to like, you know, promote your brand on social media and, and like also your personal brand. Um, and, th and then we use, you know, Help Scout to like manage our customer support. Uh, I really love using these guys. They, they, they have a very different approach. They don't, it's not like a ticket. You don't start like ticketing. It's just like you email them, but it's like a shared inbox on the back end for like your team. And it makes the customer really feel at ease that they're just emailing you, but really you have to have like a good system behind. So it's a lot more personal. Exactly. That's yeah. what it all comes down to. I think really yeah. personal. Um, I also love using Skitch and Cloud App um, to like take screenshots quickly to point something out quickly, then upload it and have a short link that I can, you know, you know, post somewhere. I use it often as in customer support. I use it on Twitter. I use it in emails. So I think I, I, I used it with you just now, Jeremy, just to show you. Uh, You're like a master at it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I really love these tools uh, uh, to help. Um, for Twitter, um, we're also using, I just, um, for customer support on Twitter, we're using a brand new tool. Well, TwitSpark can also highly recommend, which is super helpful for us too, because we get a lot of tweets, people mentioning Buffer, you want to like capture them all, and that really helps do that really well. Yeah. So just to, and I appreciate your time, Leo, tell us a little bit about Buffer, and then I want to hear one of your favorite stories from Buffer too. Definitely. Um, so with Buffer, we, we, we just have the idea that, you know, sharing content is, is quite hard. If you, you know, you read an article, or you want to, you're sort of like, oh, I haven't posted on Twitter in so long, or I haven't posted on Facebook in so long. I'm guilty, I'm guilty. <laughs> yeah, I made mean, a title, right, and like my Twitter stream, and like, and, and we just had this idea that if you want to be successful on social media, you need to post frequently, right? You need to be const consistently have stuff going out there. And and so we, we came up with, with Buffer as a way where you can have on Monday, I'm going to spend 15 minutes I'm gonna find the most interesting links or articles or photos. I put them all in my buffer, and then for the rest of the week, the great content will get posted well spaced out, and you don't have to worry about the timing. Buffer takes care of that. You don't have to take care of the, you don't have to worry about the social networks. You'll post it to Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, everywhere that you know you feel is good for you. And you can just like, you know, do your work, and then at the end of the week, look at, oh, or at the end of the day, look at how, how how many retweets did I get? How many clicks? How many likes? How well did everything perform? And then improve that, you know, in a very, very, very efficient way. So we just want to make sharing smarter, make sharing online and, and on social networks a lot smarter than it is right now. Um, and what about your favorite story from, uh, from Buffer? My favorite story, and, 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 and you know, you know how it is with stories, right? When when the story happens, you you don't feel great. But looking back, they're always amazing. Uh, but and there's this one story I remember. So. We had just moved to San Francisco. We had almost no money left. We were trying to raise money for Buffer, um, we, and we were sleeping in. So Joel and I we were sleeping together in one room, uh, and, 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 and I was on a, or, or I think Joel was on a, on an air bed. I was in a bed, and like it was kind of very scrappy. And then um, I remember we were like, it was this Saturday afternoon, uh, and. We had met a lot of investors, um, none of them wanted to invest. We had no money left in the bank. We had, our rent was coming to an end because we only had like Airbnb for two weeks and we're like, fuck, what are we going to do? We need to go back to Europe, you know, maybe find jobs. And, and, and on that Saturday afternoon, we sat down and said, okay, we're going to try again for one last week to get a few investors on board. Uh, and on that afternoon, we got a call back from one of our investors saying, I thought about it a little bit more. I want to invest $120,000 into Buffer. And, and that was kind of when everything for us, you know, went to, you know, take on a new trajectory. So I remember distinctly this, this one Saturday afternoon in San Francisco and, and on this air bat where we got the call and we're like, wow, like it just. Uh, <laughs> you jumped up and down and popped the air mattress. <laughs> Well, Leah, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Everyone should check out Buffer and um, reach out to Leah to thank him. So thank you so much, Leo. I appreciate it. Thanks so much for having me, Jeremy.